Hi guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you're new here and in today's video I have for you the latest release from Mooncat which is a collab with Alice in Wonderland as you can see. Now I do want to say thanks to the Mooncat team for sponsoring this video and I want to show you guys first of all this box. Now I will be putting details here in the corner because I don't know if you buy this collection if you get this box or if this is a PR box but I still have to show it to you because it's just gorgeous. Okay, hold on. Look at that. We first open it. Oh, wait. Look at this. Lift me, pull me. And when you open this, take one. Like if you've seen the movie, you know, like through the whole movie, she's doing all these things. She's like, try this and try that and do this and do that. So the box definitely, definitely showcases that. This is try me. But, anyways, in here in the take one, you have stickers. Gorgeous. Okay. Then. When you do lift me, of course, you get to the first level of the box, which is this. And you have three polishes. You have the names here. And then, of course, as usual, you have the name of the polish in the bottle, in the, in the box, I mean, and under the bottle as well, of course. And then this one says try me. And then is the glass file. Then down here, we have the pull me, which is a little drawer that has three more polishes. And then we have the magnet for the magnetic polishes. It says paint me, but, you know, it's a magnet, so... And then you have the next three. So I'm gonna take everything out of the box so that we can see what's in here. But I have to show you this box, which is so, so cute, so creative. Like it has all the little details. And then you have the characters, you know? I don't know, they did such a great job. I think it's a fantastic box. How could you throw this away? How could anybody throw this away, you know? Amazing. So, so cute. And really quickly, I also wanted to show you guys the actual little boxes. Look at all the characters and everything, you guys. <laughs> the doorknob. So cute. I love it. First up, we have Wish I Hadn't Cried So Much. And this one is described by the brand as a light blue lacquer filled with blue shimmer, color shifting, iridescent flakies, and micro holo glitter. It has a very easy formula. And as you guys can see, the brushes are fantastic. No brush issues whatsoever in this whole collection. They are their new latest brushes that you guys know I loved from my last review of Mooncat. They're permanent, I'm so happy about that. But anyways, this polish, um, as you guys can see, my nails are very short, so it covered my very minute little nail line very well, but it has a very glass-like, or I should say like icy kind of look. It doesn't feel foily to me, which I thought it might, but it's not. I kept thinking in my head about like shattered glass, but it has no texture. It's just the look of it. Very pretty. Up next, we have Do You Play Croquet? And I had to look up how to pronounce that word because I was about to read it in Spanish and that would have been bad. <laughs> this one's described by the brand as a light orchid pink filled with color shifting iridescent flakies, soft pink shimmer, reflective glitter, and micro holographic glitter. So it's very similar to the blue, but it has the addition of the reflective glitter. Now, the reflective glitter is very delicate. It is not something that's like the main attraction of this polish. I think the flakies are the main attraction. But the reflective glitter is there, which means it causes the formula to be a little bit thicker than the blue, but it's not as thick as reflective glitter bombs. And also the texture is very light. So with the top coat, I was able to like, you know, make it disappear. But keep in mind that it is there. Now, I had some trouble photographing it because it wouldn't show on my nail, but you can see it. I'm gonna insert some clips where you guys can see that the reflective is definitely there in the bottle. So maybe I just didn't do like the proper picture or whatever to get it to show. I tried with flash, I couldn't get it. I don't know if it's that it's just a delicate, you know, reflective that's not gonna show up that much. Up next, we have a very merry on birthday. And this one is described by them as a purple lacquer, jam packed with shifty blue shimmer and color shifting blue to purple multi-chrome flakies. And let me tell you, I know that the base is not described as a multichrome. The flakies are was described as a multichrome, but I swear that this thing, even the base, shifts. I don't know if you guys can see it in the bottle here, but I do have some shots of my nails where it kept shifting. Like, it's, a, it's so cool. Now, this one has a jelly base that's, that's very sheer, okay? And it has a bunch of, like, flakies that are, like, dark but shifty, like what they described. It's a very easy first and second coat. I don't think if I had nail length, this would be opaque in two coats. I, I'm not sure that it's meant to, but maybe it is. Maybe the flakies do build up opacity after the second coat. I'm not sure because I don't have long enough nails to tell you that. But just keep in mind that it is a jelly base and you will be building up 
All right, you guys, up next we have something that I have a hard time saying because I'm used to the cat's name in Spanish, not in English. And so I looked it up and I think you say Cheshire cat. I, I hope I, that was right. If not, I am so sorry. But anyways, I'm gonna put the name down here. <laughs> and it's described by the brand as a purple magnetic filled with multicolored iridescent flakies and micro holographic glitter that reveals a bright pink magnetic stripe. Now, when I first started swatching this, I placed my magnet in a way that gave me two stripes on the nail. And I was like, it was like looking at the cat on my nail. It was so crazy. I was like, how did I do this? I think sometimes when you place these little magnets in specific ways, sometimes you get two stripes. I don't know, I, I started playing with it and I was able to reproduce it. But anyways, very easy to coat, fantastic polish. It's a great representation of the cat because when you get that stripe on your nail, one or two, you guys are gonna see what I mean. It is so, so, so good. Very gorgeous, unmagnetized as well. I have a um, picture here of it on my thumb. It's very, very nice. Some polishes, when you don't, you know, when you don't magnetize them, they don't look as nice. This one is very good on magnetized. So you really get two beautiful ways of wearing it. All right, up next we have a second magnetic and this one is the Mad Hatter. And it was another very easy to coat. Gorgeous. I'm gonna give it up already. Like this one is my favorite. But green is my favorite color. And when you give me a green like this, that shifts and has purple components on top of that, I love. Like sometimes I'm like, was I a peacock on like a previous life? Because I love things that shift like green to purple to green. I don't know, it's just beautiful. Anyways. Very easy two coats. It's a very mysterious, you know, um, green polish, even unmagnetized. Now, I do prefer this one magnetized, I have to say, but unmagnetized, you get like this deep, mysterious green that is just beautiful, a beautiful representation of the character. I think they did a great job. And I'm kind of obsessed with this one magnetized, not gonna lie. All right, up next we have Bread and Butterflies, and this is described by them as a golden yellow filled with color shifting iridescent flakies, micro holo glitter, and that it reveals a subtle green magnetic aura. Now, there is also a note in the description of the polish that says that this shade is designed to have a softer magnetic effect. Now, when I read this, I thought it was gonna be a barely there, but it's not barely there. It's there, you definitely see it. The thing is that since you have green contrasting on gold you don't see it as much as the other two so maybe this is part of why you know the description says that it's going to be a softer um effect it's definitely there you can see it i thought when i read this that it was not going to show at all but it does show so that's nice all right so i'm not sure if i already mentioned it or not but this collection is limited edition as you guys know if you want anything from this collection pick it up sooner than later because it might not restock. I'm not sure about the details, but they did let us know that it was limited edition. I'm gonna put all the details, you know, down below as far as like pricing and the link and all of that. I love this collection. There's nothing here that you guys need to worry about. They're all beginner friendly and that's it. Thank you guys so much for coming to my review and I hope to catch you on the next one. Bye.